Yes, welcome, um, welcome back. Yeah, so I promised that I would do the same question, but I'm going to take a slightly different route yeah, to solve it. Okay, simultaneous equations by substitution. Okay, x plus y equals 11, x minus y minus 1 equals 0. Now, what am I going to do? I'm going to write the first equation, I'm going to make x the subject because that's relatively easy. Um, x equals 11 minus y. And I'm going to make x the subject in the second equation as well, because that is also relatively easy. x equals y plus 1. Yeah, plus y plus 1. All right, so I've made x the subject in both equations. Well, these x's are the same. Yeah, so therefore, the conclusion you can take or you can make is that considering they are the same, then 11 minus y has to be the same as y plus 1. I'm just taking a pause there for you to think about that. Let's find out if that is really true. I'll just get back to this in a minute. Um, 10 is 6 plus 4. That is one equation. And 10 is also 7 plus 3. My second equation. Considering they both say 10, can I conclude then that 6 plus 4 then is the same as 7 plus 3? Can I make that conclusion? Yes, I can. Okay, and the same thing I'm doing here. If I say that x is 11 minus y, and if I also say that x is y plus 1, then I can conclude that 11 minus y has to be the same as y plus 1. Okay, and now I can rearrange this equation as one equation with one unknown, so I can solve it. Okay, and I like always to keep my variable, variables uh, positive if I can, so I'm going to plus it with y on both sides. 11, that's going to be a 2y uh, plus 1, eh? y plus y. And I'm going to take away that 1 here, so I've got to do that on the left side as well, otherwise it's not equal of course. Um, 2y equals 10, so y equals 10 divided by 2, which is 5, y equals 5, okay. Now I'd just like to go back to my workings of the previous video, uh, so the same question, okay. I made x the subject, and then I substituted that in the other equation, and then I also got y is 5, okay. So have a look at my previous video, if you haven't done so already. So it gives you, of course, the same answer. There's only one correct answer, but this is just a different route you can take. Y is five, I'm not finished yet. I have to find X. X plus Y is 11, Well, X plus five is 11. And again, I always use that example. Remember, a long time ago, they would ask you which number in the box, and then it is 11. I do the same thing with my daughter, she's five. And then what she, she will think is she start counting on her fingers and then she will say it should be six. Six plus five is eleven. And um, she is actually already doing algebra because she is absolutely right. X equals six. So x equals six, y equals five. Yeah, so instead of the box, now we have an x or a y, but it's all the same, boys and girls. I mean, really, you've been doing algebra since you were five years old, only you're not aware of that. Okay, let's have a look. Yeah, six plus y, six plus five should be 11, it says. Six plus five equals 11, and indeed that is 11. Okay, let's put a big tick there. I'm checking my work now. I have to do that for both equations. X, so six minus y, minus five, minus 1 has to be 0, and indeed that is 0. So again, I am correct, and I feel good about myself, and I can confidently and happily go to the next question. Alright, so can you. All the best.